Capital Audio Fest. I'm in a classic loudspeaker room. And we're looking at a pair of T3 loudspeakers. Is that correct, Mr. Wolf? Who's behind me? Yes. 0.4 version. John, what makes it a 0.4? Uh, fuel coil drivers, uh, updated cabinet with full finish front end instead of grill cloth. Mm -hmm. uh, we still make the 3.3, which is a full frontal grill cloth speaker. So now for the field coil unit, is that rear, is that internal? That's not the one that's facing forward here, is it? Yes, yeah, so the woofer you're looking at and the driver behind the blue horn. That's it, okay. And we have the electronics for the field coil. Where are they sitting? The power supply is right to your left. Down here in yep. silver? Yep. Okay, viewers, you can see the power supply for the loudspeaker of field coil loudspeaker has a magnet that is an electromagnet. It's not a permanent permanent magnet. It has to be powered with a DC source. And how many volts DC? Uh, 12 and a half. And we can see that there, viewers. Uh, no, about 2.1 amps. You can see that on the screen there, viewers. And that's powering our very low voltage. Very low voltage for the magnetics on the woofer and also for the mid-range for the mid-range unit as well. Each driver runs about an amp. And the high frequency driver, is that a TAD driver? No, it's Fostex T five hundred. I'm mistaken here, it's Fostex T five hundred driver. And the rest of the system, John. You also have a pair of uh, Atmosphere 60s, aren't they? No, those are the MA 1.5s, the Nova Chrome, <laughs> which have been discontinued for several years. Uh, okay, well, it's a very nice sound viewer. It's got a real intimate a uh, holographic sound to it. Uh, <coughs> put it on the short list of best sound at the Capital Audio Fest so far this year. We'll spin around and look at the system. Again, the key three loudspeakers. Left me alone. We have the Atmosphere MP1 preamp. And it's power supply, and it's power supply mate down here. Down into this We're spinning, spinning vinyl with a Kuzma reference. And what's the cartridge, John? Uh, Bandon Hall uh, Grasshopper 3. Oh, I have one of those too. That's a great cartridge. I had AJ go over it last year. It was sounding a little uh, distorted. And it came back working great. Yeah. That's the one thing about the band and Hall. He does still support that brand. Yeah. Yeah. Very few movie car cartridges when you get service. Boy, I know us. Yep. Just spending eighty-five percent of your money. That's right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. It's a very good-looking room and thank very you. good sound. Thank you, Peter. Capital Audio Fest, two thousand twelve. Yep. Good to be here. Good.